Okay, so we have a, a pretty huge shipping day today. Uh, we have in total 25 guitars uh, going to 12 different countries this week. Uh, pretty amazing. I think that's the most number of countries that we've shipped to in one week. Uh, we've got Japan, Switzerland, Singapore, France, Latvia, Netherlands, Canada, Germany, Scotland, Brazil, of course the USA, and England. So uh, pretty amazing week for, uh, for shipping. Um, and the reason is just our stock has been flying out the door. We can't keep up. Uh, so we launched our select series um, just yesterday. And uh, these are the only two left. Uh, I'll show you the other four that just sold straight away. So there's still two to grab, a uh, beautiful X30 and an X20 um, in this pretty amazing Casipo. So that's the two that are left. And I'll show you the, um, the ones that are that were grabbed yesterday. Uh, I'm also going to tell you a little bit about the new Emerald Strap that's coming very soon. So I'll tell you about that at the end of the video, if you make it to the end. So we're going a little bit faster this week. And uh, so first one up is uh, Roberto. Uh, this is going all the way to Rio. Um, so as you can see, Xipo this month, beautiful, uh, rich, dark, uh, colored wood, um, got these really beautiful golden tones and it's all the character that's going on it is why uh, I selected for select series. Um, this one really nicely book matched with these beautiful converging lines. Then Tom from New York, he got the X10. Uh, it's the X10 level two. And uh, as you can see, just how beautiful and holographic that Casipo was. Um, it's just got a lot of movement in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but as I move this, I can really see it flipping and moving and the light sort of dancing about it. Um, really interesting. Then uh, Michael, way up in the highlands of Scotland. Uh, he's got the X20. And uh, I really like this one, actually, how it's got all this quilting going on here. And then sort of the straight lines running up and converging towards the, the, uh, the neck. Then... Alan from Arizona, USA. Sell a lot of guitars in Arizona, uh, obviously because of the, the temperature and humidity conditions out there. Uh, carbon just works so well. So uh, I love this one. It's got these uh, nice tri triangular shapes going on down here at the bottom. And again, the lines all running up towards the neck. So that's the Select Series. Uh, then we have uh, this one going to Ottawa in Canada. Uh, it's going to Marcel Cormier. Um, beautiful uh, little X7, finished number. So you see the guys have actually arranged the guitars. They're kind of color coordinated. So we've got the ambers going on here and then we're gonna go down through the other colors. Um, then we have Martin in Germany. Uh, he's got an X30 amber, our big jumbo body guitar. Then Philip, also in Canada, Ontario. Uh, he's got uh, Cocobolo X7. Really nice piece of Cocobolo going on there. Then follow on the Cocobolo. I mean, I've said this many times, Cocobolo, as soon as we put them on our website, they're gone. Uh, getting harder and harder to get nice Cocobolo. So uh, that's why people are grabbing them. So this one's going out to Greg in, uh, in Texas and uh, he's selected the uh, Stage Pro element on the side here, just with the onboard controls. And we've got Rick, uh, another one going to Arizona. Um, really nice piece of Coco Bolo again. I mean, the Coco Bolo has just been, uh, been super, super popular. Uh, we've got Craig. Um, so he, apparently he has another X30 Coco Bolo on, on order as well. So we're getting into the red guitars here. Uh, really nice piece of uh, Quilted Maple, red Quilted Maple. And red carbon back and sides. Red on red. Uh, then we've got William Burke, California. Now here we're getting into a couple of interesting ones. Uh, this is a um, four string tenor guitar. So we've taken our X7. Uh, we've uh, completely modified the neck profile and uh, brought it down to be this little four-string tenor guitar. 
Uh, it's been interesting. It's not something we've really pursued recently, but we've just had a number of people that have requested um, tenor guitars and, uh, and bazookies, uh, just like this one. Uh, so this one's going to uh, David in Colorado. Um, it's a sort of bazooki style. Um, so uh, the double course, also on the X7. Uh, so the X7's a nice body for, um, for doing this kind of a modification. And uh, you know what we do is we we make a an extra insert that goes into our mold, so we we create a, a shape the same size as um, the uh, the neck that we're wanting to build, and we cast that inside our mold to make a secondary mold, and uh, and then we make our guitar. So it's a little bit of a a job, but we can we can certainly do it when it's needed to be done. Uh, so this one's going to Netherlands. Um, uh, Isha, I think, is the name. Um, an X10 level three with uh, some um, candy stripe puduk. Uh, really nice reds and blacks and browns and a lot of color going on in that. Finished down with the red carbon back and sides. Then Latvia. Vladimir in Latvia. Uh, he's gone for the X10 level two. And uh, this is a really nice piece of of Royal Ebony. Um, I was just actually going through a Royal Ebony stock there a couple of days ago and it got some really nice pieces. Uh, this is a really nice piece. It's got like this quilting going down the center here and the, and the light center uh, and then all the darker stripes. So, you know, that's nice because it's just there's character on every section of it and uh, black carbon back and sides. Had a great time in Latvia for the Eurovision Song Contest with Mickey Hart way back about mm, 2003. Good memories there. Um, this one is going to Sean Mercer. Uh, so this is his, his third emerald, actually. Uh, all of them are Royal Ebony. And uh, yeah, he selected a really nice piece in this. Uh, I love how the, the black lines just run on right from the side of the guitar right into the Royal Ebony here, into the black lines in the Ebony. And uh, it's just got all these swirls and movement and it's kind of like ink has been almost like spilt all over the guitar and just swirled on like on, on water or something. Um, a lot of movement on it and the black carbon back and sides. Then we've got Mark from France. Uh, he's gone with uh, an X30. Uh, he's got the pinless bridge going on there, finishing the black carbon and uh, the LR Bags Anthem pickup system in there. And then we've got Han in Singapore. Uh, he's got the X30 and um, uh, this is pretty much exactly the same spec as the other one, except uh, it's got the pin bridge. Uh, I think we've got custom pins going on on this one as well. And then um, also we've got chrome instead of the standard Cosmo black. Chrome go to 510s. Then we've got a really cool one going out to somebody. Um, so it was an Egyptian person living in Switzerland. So uh, an interesting guy we've been talking to about this guitar. Uh, he's ordered the, the Black X20 and uh, also with the, the Anthem upgrade in there. Then we've got Cal from North Carolina. Uh, he's got an X20. And this one has been fitted out with the LR Bags Lyric. So it's got the mic pickup in there. So gives a lot of, a lot of body to the sound, a lot of articulation. Uh, then we've got Damien in uh, Massachusetts, uh, USA. Uh, he's got the X20 also in black. So actually quite a run of black guitars. Um, <laughs> said this often just about how there's a theme some weeks. Uh, and this week Black Carbon has been very popular. Um, so then we've got, uh, this one is going out to Marky in Japan. Uh, this is the X2012, also finished in black uh, with the Anthem. And then another 12 string going out to Marky in Japan as well. Uh, this is the uh, Amicus finished in green. And another green one, this is uh, Jonathan's uh, X27, 
in uh, Walnut Creek in California. So, uh, seven string uh, custom quilted maple, finishing green. Uh, the green over that quilted maple is just amazing. Just so much movement and depth to it. Uh, beautiful guitar and uh, green and gold. At the start, I wasn't a fan of putting gold tuners with green, but it's really kind of grown on me. I do like the combination of green and gold now. So, green and gold, gold strings, beautiful guitar. Then we've got Michael, California, and uh, he's got the X20 Lefty, finishing green carbon. And uh, last one is, uh, this is going to Adrian in Devon in England. Um, and that's an X20 uh, finishing the blue. So we've got all our colors covered in this week's shipping. Um, so this is a guitar that Adrian actually bought to kind of tide himself over until he gets his X30 Coco Bolo that he's custom building. So last thing that I want to talk about this week is uh, the Emerald Strap. Uh, we've been kind of shying away from really doing merchandise for a while, uh, just focusing on our guitars, but we get asked so much about straps. Uh, we've, uh, we've decided to design this strap. So um, these are gonna be available soon. They're not available yet. So if you're interested in an emerald strap, let us know. Uh, just interested to see uh, the reaction to this and uh, how many people will be interested in having an emerald strap to go with their emerald guitar. Um, these are made in really beautiful, high-quality leather and custom embroidered with the, uh, the Emerald logo. So uh, it's not a cheap strap, it's a quality strap, but uh, go well with your guitars. So that's it for this week. Uh, an amazing shipping video. Uh, I just love doing these. It just every week seems to get better and better. Um, it's just we're really on a roll at the moment. It's an exciting time in Emerald. So uh, thanks for watching. If you made it right the way to the end, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again next week.